What has impressed you, Pat, about Daniel Jones so far here in training camp? Well, he's been able to do all the things that we thought he could, you know, and he's he's really far exceeded our expectations in, in terms of being a rookie and being able to go out there and execute as a quarterback. Gets better every day. Uh, he's learning from one of the great ones, and I think he's really done a terrific job. And when it's his time to play, he'll be ready. You know, Pat, speaking about one of those great ones, look, I think a lot of people right now are kind of just waiting for the inevitable decline with Eli, right? And for the time sure. for Daniel to go ahead and start playing. But let's just talk about Eli right. in particular. At this point in his career, even the great ones want to get better. What have you seen now from year one to year two in your system? How's he, how, what's Eli doing now that really has maybe caught your eye? Well, he was a little bit different in the offseason. Um, and he's throwing the ball. He's, he's throwing it sharp. He, you know, his arm is live. Uh, and then second year in the system, certainly he, the ball comes out a little quicker because mm -hmm. he, he, he knows and kind of we've gotten to work with one another. And so he understands the progressions a little bit better the way I see it. And he's actually executed very, very well. Awesome. Awesome. And, and you know, on the, on the defensive side of the ball, obviously the league is about front and coverage. It's about being able to rush the passer and being able to cover in the back end. Has anybody really jumped out at you as far as rushing the passer since you guys you struggled with it last year you know 30th in the league we're in the bottom quarter of the league as far as sacking the passer anybody jumped out at you so far in training camp well some of the young guys have certainly you know I feel like Lorenzo Carter has gotten better he looks good um, you know X-Man has done a good job and you know we have Marcus Golden so we've got guys that have rushed the passer in the past and we've got some young guys that improved and then on the inside, you know, Dexter Lawrence and B.J. Hill and Dalvin Thomas, that group, I think, is, is much better as a group than it was a year ago. And as we know, the sack is the ultimate. But if you can get pressure on the quarterback in all areas, especially in his face, right. uh, that's where you can disrupt them the most. Circling back to the quarterback position for a second, Pat, uh, how difficult has it been to manage this? Eli Manning, two-time Super Bowl winner, yeah. Daniel Jones, sixth overall pick. Has it been difficult to handle within your locker room this transition period, so to speak? Not at all. I mean, there's all, all adults in the room. Uh, Eli is trying to do the very best he can to get ready to have a great season. And, and Daniel Jones is trying to learn as much as he can, as fast as he can. And that's really where it's at. And we're open and honest about our conversations about players performing and getting better. And so, you know, we don't really respond to what's happening outside. We have a really, really healthy quarterback room, and, and that's really what's driving this. Yeah, well, it's interesting because there's so much talk about the quarterback naturally because of how much was invested in order to get the young player, to get sure. Daniel Jones here. And it's funny because in our world, I, I think people are starting to forget you also have a pretty good running back. Right. You have a, you have a kid who may, right. may redefine the position. And from year one to year two, I mean, you know this, you're coaching, you played the game. You see guys take jumps, huge jumps in those in those first two years. What have you seen from Saquon so far? Well, we expect him to take a jump. And, and typically between year one and year two, that's when guys make good players that work at it make, you know, improvements. Mm -hmm. And so we've seen it in all areas of his game. When you talk to him, he says, I'm working on the little things. Right. And that's just not lip service. You see it on the practice field. He's exerted himself a little bit more. Uh, the, the local media was asking me yesterday about they've seen him be more vocal. Well, we saw it a year ago. The world's just starting to see it more. And so we're happy with what he's doing uh, because he's got really that rookie mindset still. Going into this training camp, you have to take Odell Beckham Jr. out of the equation of your mm -hmm. offense. How will it look different without Odell Beckham Jr. on the field? Well, I, I've always believed, you know, when it, when it comes to receivers and production, you know, it takes a village. You know, everybody has got to do their part. And, you know, I think when, when a player of his caliber is no longer on your team, everybody has to do their part. And I've, I've felt really good about the production and practice from the receivers that we have on our roster. And, We'll put them out there and get them going. A little unsettled right now at the receiver position. What's happening there? Well, they're competing, and I think that's a good thing. And so when you have a player like Odell that's not here, immediately the group says, ah, there's balls out there to catch. <laughs> and so they compete, and, and by doing that, they get better. And, you know, then we have a guy like Evan Ingram who has wide receiver traits that we can use in that way. So we'll just see how it, it, it plays out but we feel good about at least the plan as we move forward real quick to follow up Sterling Shepard will be okay soon or when do you expect him to play yeah and well he's been out there practicing you know he, he 
you know, got his a thumb. Yellow jersey on, yeah, right? he's got so a yellow jersey, but he's, you know, he's still catching the ball. Uh, he's running routes. He's actually performing really almost 100% in practice. The yellow jersey just keeps him from getting banged and around. How much will we see Daniel Jones in the first preseason game, real quick? Oh, he'll be playing. Okay, good. <laughs> we'll be watching. <laughs> Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.